Right, this is going to be a brand new video, ladies and gentlemen. I think this is the fifth video review I think I've done now. This video review is going to be about uh, the speaker system of getting. Well, I've had it for a while, but I just haven't quite done a proper review on it, so to speak, to show you, so to speak. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the bits and pieces that you get with this, this speaker system. So when, well, it's kind of like a cinema system, is it? So what you get is obviously you get the speakers. Now the way I've got them around the room is three in front of us and two behind us. So I'll show you, well I'll try to show you. Oh dear, I didn't realise my camera is actually stuck to the uh, stuck so to speak. So as you can see there's obviously one that's the left speaker, there's your centre speaker and there's your front right speaker. Now up here, up there is where the other one is. That's where the rear right speaker is. And up here is where the other one is. Up there. So it's pretty good with the positions. Uh obviously uh, dear me. I didn't realise the cable was actually stuck to the Oh hell. Right, I'm gonna have to try and do this sort get off your stupid thing. That's better. Sorry about that. <coughs> yeah. This goes to show bad things. Right. Close up shot. Here is the control unit which you got. As you can see, that's what it's currently set on at the minute direct six channel digital because I'm using the coloured corded cables at the back here to go directly to the sound card. As you can see, there is a subwoofer which gives off quite a bit of bass, I must admit. Uh, it's about, I think it's about 310 watts in total. So it's a, it's a good surround sound system. I like it. Playing games on it is absolutely superb. I can't fault it at all. The only slight drawback was, uh, which I didn't realise, is after I bought it, that the company that uh, did s sell the product has unfortunately stopped selling it. Uh, now why I don't know. Uh, I don't know why they've done this. Maybe they've stopped getting stock. Maybe from Logitech directly. Uh, could possibly be. That's could be possibly the case. So, unfortunately, the speaker system, unfortunately, so if anything goes wrong with the speaker system, I've got n nothing to cover it, uh, no warranty or anything. Uh, so, basically, what's going to be looking like is if the speaker system does go in the blink, then I'm obviously going to have to buy a new surround sound system to fill the whole room again. So, that's one slight potty bit about it. So, <coughs> I've done three, vin three minutes of this video now. Um, it's been a good surround sound system, I must say, uh, since I bought it. I think it cost us about 140, 145, I think, 145 pound. So it, was, it wasn't too bad. It was a good deal when I got it. So it, it, it's pretty good. It does what it does. So the only thing I've just got to worry about is if if it's going to actually last as long as it's going to be, you know, since I'm getting it. Which was, I think, back in 2007, I think it was. Not sure exactly. To mid 2007, it was somewhere. Somewhere around that time, I got it. It's a good speaker system. The only snag is the subwoofer is unfortunately easy scratched. For some reason, I've slightly scratched a few marks on it. There's a few, a few little, like, little chips here and there, but it's not enough to to bother us much. What I didn't actually notice was is that actually the subwoofer actually has a fuse inside of it. It actually has it in the back, which you turn this little round thing and pop it out, and there's like a fuse attached to it. So if, if the fuse ever blows, it blows, you can just pop a new fuse in, just pop it in, slot it back, turn it, and lock it in. There you go. So it's good, 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 good. Uh, I was trying to think of video reviews to try and add on uh, YouTube, so I thought I might just do refresh refresh videos that I did do in the past, bought they were on a poorer web camera so you never got to see them in proper detail. Plus as well my web camera was sitting on uh well, behind us on this door here. That that was the last position it was it actually in, so you couldn't actually get a close up shot of anything. Um but I've now changed it now and isn't it it's a whole new different position now. So I'll probably try and show you if I can. Uh basically this is how the office is currently looking. As you can see, there's desks here. There's two desks joined on. 
Now there, as you can see, there's a gap between there. Now the reason for this is there's going to be a telly stuck in the middle here. And then there's going to be shelves put under here as well. And there's Mac Mini apologies for the colour. It's slightly gone green. I think it's because of the light. Uh, so it's slightly adjusted itself. So... Oh, slightly adjusted there. There we go. <coughs> So it's a good surround sound system. Uh, it's been working for a year, I think now, roughly, somewhere around that. It's been working for a year, and it hasn't it hasn't let us down since. Um, don't think there's really anything I can think of to do to maybe improve the quality of the sound, but I think that always depends on your sound card, really. Um, I mean, I've got an XFI. A platinum sound card on it at the minute, which is connected to it. And, I mean, it gives a good sound in that, but you've got to. The only snag is certain movies in that you've got to play them. You've got it. You've got to change the mode on the control unit to get a proper sort of so sound coming from your speakers. Because when you put it in six channel direct, I think that must be classing it as six speakers. And there isn't six speakers. There's only there's only five five uh, f well, four speakers, including the well. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five. <laughs> just, just checking there. <laughs> yeah, there's only five speakers, including and including the subwoofer as well. But it's you've got to change the mode. I think you've got to, uh, to get a proper feel of the movie, depending on what movie you're watching. Um, you've got to change the mode on it to either stereo X2 or something like that, and you get the proper audio then. But it may be it may be because I've maybe it's got it's maybe got it set it up wrong, I don't know. I mean, you know, the connections are right, so I mean there's nothing wrong with them. Uh so really that is all I really have to say about the new uh, long oldish modernish Logitech Z five four hundred. And I have to say it hasn't let us down yet. So good snack. Uh what I did do though is I removed, I'll show you, as I've done 7 minutes now with this video as you can see on here on the control unit you've got this like sort of shine now the walls originally a plastic protection thing all going over this so it was like completely over but I've actually removed this don't ask us why <laughs> I know somebody else did a, re a review with the same speakers and they said they they had a problem, that, that was actually a fault but it isn't actually a fault if you don't touch the damn thing, it won't, the damn thing won't peel off, you know. So, anyway, I think I've rather rabbited it on enough. So, anyway, so I'm gonna add this video to YouTube. So this is gonna be an, a kind of a newish video, but thingy on the same product that I did the last time. So I'm gonna add this to YouTube, and I will see you there.